All right, everybody. I have been talking about this for years for you guys on how we can go to the Bahamas as veterans for just the cost of taxes, which is 375 bucks. We get to do this every single year. And I'm here right now at Atlantis in the Bahamas. Let me show you. And I actually met a veteran today um, here who didn't know about the program, so I shared the program with him, and uh, we got to we got to hang out for a little bit. I'm going to tag him in it because it was just funny. So listen, I'm going to take you guys step by step through how you do this. Damien, glad you joined me. This is not a scam. I'm here for just 375. That's it. That's all it cost me. All right. Step one: you need to go to Caesar Palace website. You need to register for their rewards card. This is free to you. It is not a credit card. Okay. Once you've registered for that credit or that rewards card, you're going to then go to their location finder, find the nearest Caesar Palace or Harrah's Casino, and you're going to go there and you're going to show them documentation of some sort that proves that you served in the military or are serving. So your active duty or reserve card, your DD-214, your veteran card for disability benefits, Anything that proves that you served will get you their called their what's called their salute card. Once you have their salute card, it takes about 24 to 48 hours to update. Once it's updated, you can then call the 1-800 number, which will then route you down to the Bahamas to the Coral Tower, where you get to book this trip for just the taxes of three hundred seventy-five dollars. Okay. Now there are certain times of the year you cannot come. And there's no timeshare pitch, guys, none. You can't come during the major holidays. You can't come to Christmas, Thanksgiving, July 4th, those kind of things. But you can come whenever you want. I'm here from yesterday all the way through Saturday, and it just cost me 375 bucks. Now, a couple of things you need to be aware of. When you come, you've got to pay for your transportation from the airport to the resort. It's about a 30, 45-minute taxi drive. It cost me 50 bucks. That's it. Okay, food. This is not an all-inclusive resort, so you do have to pay for the food. Now, the food is not expensive. Okay, it's not like you're spending three hundred dollars a meal. Okay, you can also eat across the bridge in town, and it's way less money then. Okay, so you can do it that way too. Um, excursions are on you. So if you want to go do excursions, which this resort, just by the way, look. Hold on, I'm gonna pan around. This resort is massive, so it has a ton of stuff for you to do inside the resort itself to which you can do and probably never leave the resort and totally be okay. The beach is just right over there. You can go swimming. Uh, they got jet skis. They got a water park. They got a lazy river, all that stuff. You can do all of that for just 375 There is nothing here that's going to, you know, bankrupt you or some scam, some, you know, timeshare trick. 375 all in, okay? Now, once you've booked, you don't pay yet. You pay when you get here, okay? So once you get here, then they're gonna charge your card for the 375 for the taxes. I got a king room facing the beach for 375. You guys can't beat this with a stick, okay? Now, I've seen some people, you know, talk about it's a scam. Well, look, right here behind me, I don't make a dollar off this, it's not a scam. All right, so quite a few of you are watching now. If you guys have questions, just pop it in the questions for me. I'll answer them. If not, man, come join me in the Bahamas. You can't beat this price. Not for $375. We'll talk to you guys.